Lisa Lucas, followed by Scott Wyndham. It's Lisa Lucas. Uh, and first, I'd just like to say that um, no jobs will be created by this. If, if we could get a guarantee of jobs, that would be great. Um, I'd also like to point out that the people who are going to be speaking in favor of this bill are all going to be paid by the industry, and the people who are going to be voting on this bill are also often paid by the industry. For example, and I have to keep it short simply because the public only gets a minute 45 while lobbyists can throw a gala at the Marriott with whiskey and wine and talk for hours to the delegates. So to keep it short, uh, on the Judiciary Committee, Charlotte Lane, about $10,000 from gas and oil interest, including AEP, Marathon, First Energy, Dominion, EQT, and I could go on. Next, let's talk about John Schott from Mercer. First Energy, $2,000. Appalachian Power, $2,000. Steptoe and Johnson, that's a gas and oil law firm, $2,000. Consul Energy, $1,000. EQT, $1,000. And I could go on. Now let's talk about Jason Harshbarger. Ms. Lucas, uh, we ask no personal comments be made. If you want to talk about this, it is not personal comments. It is a personal comment, and I'm going to call you out of order if you're talking about individuals on the committee. So uh, if you would just address the bill. If not, I'll ask you to please step down. Jason Harshbarger took uh, $3,500, about 40% of his money comes. Next speaker would be Julie Archer. <laughs> 